מי אתה? סאז' וטלר. הלו. אוג'ול פרבו. כי בנדה כן. नमो विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमो पदाय ಸ್ವಾಮಿಸ್ವತಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾಣಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತಿಣ ನಮಸೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾಣಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ ದೇಶತ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ
Srila Prabhupada Ki सरती भगवान की जय 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 नमो हरे हरे नमो नमो विष्णु पदाय कृष्णा पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भाकी
राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे परिवजाचार्य अष्टुष्टिवाइनग्रेसिदांतस्वामीश्रीलाचार्यप्रभुपाचार्यस्ठाकुर की प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सादी गौर भक्त वृंद की श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की गंगा मैया यमुना मैया की नवदीप मायापुर धाम की पुरुषोत्तम क्षेत्र जगन्नाथ पुरी धाम की जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा मैया की श्री श्री राधा पार्थ भगवान की 
श्री श्री गौर मिताय भगवान की पिताए गौर प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असेंबल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असेंबल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू गुरु गुरु एन गौरंगा ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री प्रभुपाद
जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव मणि प्रहलाद महाराज की जय जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जय ताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna. Radha Madhava Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hari 
Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane, Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pricharine, Nirvishesha Shanyavadi Paschacha Desha Tarine. Om Namo Bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So this evening we're going on to speak about the sixth item of the nine items of devotional service. So Srila Prahlad Maharaj listed the nine items of devotional service, saying Shravanam Kirtan Vishnu, Smaranam Pada Sevanam, Archanam, and then comes Vandanam. So this evening we're going to speak about Vandanam or offering prayers. So, Shila Parlaj Maharaj, Bhakti ke Navida, Bhakti ke jo Vidin Ang hai, unko is tarah se batate hai, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Maranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, or Vandanam. So, aaj hum uh, Vandanam ke baare mein charcha karenge. And the Acharyas have identified a person in each of the nine limbs of devotional service. They identified a person who achieved perfection simply by one of these methods. So Parikshit Maharaj heard Sukadev Goswami chanted, Prahlad Maharaj remembered, and then uh, Archanam Smaranam Padasevanam, the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, served the lotus feet of Lord Narayan. And then we heard yesterday. <laughs> how Maharaj Prithu worshipped the deity of the Supreme Lord. And the person who achieved perfection simply by offering prayers is Akrura. So Akrur is a person who was sent by Kamsa. He was especially requested by Kamsa to go to Vrindavan and bring Krishna and Balaram from Vrindavan and bring them to Mathura. So Akrurji go with Jinko Vishesh Rup se Kansane Hidatha Krishna or Balram Jiko Bindavan se Mathura Likanakili. And Akrura, although he was requested in this way by Kamsa to do this service, Akrura is a devotee, he's a great devotee of Lord Krishna. So Akrurji, Alaji Apne service mein unko kansi ne bola tha ki aap leke aaiye lekin akrur wo bhagwan ke bahut mahan bhakt hain 
and Mino Kamsa was a demon, and he wanted Akrura to bring Krishna and Balaram to Mathura. Kamsa wanted to kill Krishna and Balaram. So, Vastrita me Kans Jai Krishna or Balaram Jiko Marna Tate, is the only Akrura Jiko Veda Town to Lanaki. But Akrura accepted that service because he thought it's a great opportunity for me to get the association of Lord Krishna. So although Akrura was sent by Kamsa, Akrura actually knew Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But he was still willing to do this, to go to Vrindavan and bring Krishna and Balaram and bring them to Mathura, because he thought this is a great opportunity for me to associate directly with Lord Krishna. So Akrurji so Akrura, when Kamsa gave him a new chariot to go there to Vrindavan, because he's going to bring Lord Krishna. So he doesn't give some just some old chariot. He has a very new chariot which had never been used before. And he gave this to Akrur and he told Akrur, you go with this chariot and bring these two boys, Krishna and Balaram, bring them here to Mathura. So Akrur ji, jo Krishna and Balaram ji ko lene gaye, to unko ek naya rat mila tha. Kansa ne unko ek naya rat diya tha. Aur bula tha ki is rat mein Krishna and Balaram ji ko leke. Wo rat jo aisa tha abhi tak kisi aur ne istamal nahi kiya tha. Kamsa had arranged different methods by which he planned to kill Lord Krishna. First of all, there was a huge elephant who had a very nasty demoniac nature named Kuvalapida. And that elephant was to be at the, at the gate of the arena in Mathura. And the plan was that when Krishna and Balaram enter, Kalavayapida will attack Krishna and gore Krishna with his tusks and kill Krishna. So Kans Alaglag Bichar Banare Tiki Kaisa Krishna or Balaram Jiko Vadu Karna Chate. So Sapse Pala to Jo Vachetra Savanke Bhake Uske Rasteme uh Pagal Hati, Bhati Shakti Shali Hati, this Kanamta Kuvala. Kuvala Yapida. Kuvala Yapida. As a Bodhi Shakti Shali Hatiunko Hapit, Hapit Kayata Taki, Pagwan Gazi, I, Krishna Valram Hatiunko, Katam Gazi. But Kamsa knew it may not be successful because he'd already sent many of his different demon friends to Vrindavan, and one by one they'd all been killed by Krishna. So Kamsko Manayeta, he was a Taiki Yojana Sapal Naho. So Kamsa thought if for some reason the elephant is not successful, then Krishna and Balaram will have to engage in a wrestling match. And Kamsa had recruited very powerfully built, very strong wrestlers to fight with Krishna and Balaram. So, if you look in our Krishna book, you can see the illustration. You can see Krishna and Balaram, they're small boys and their bodies are very soft and, and sweet. And these wrestlers are built like rocks, they're huge, mount like mountains, you know. So Apagar Krishna book me or Chitrago de King at Happy Banawaki Krishna or Balaram uh Dono Bohati Chote or Bhatiunka uh soft what comal shari or would you you can say wrestling karnajare 
कुश्ती करने जा रहे हैं वो लोग बहुत ही शक्तिशाली हैं बहुत ही पहाड़ की तरह उनका शरीर है बहुत बलवान है so the wrestlers the names were like chanura mustika toshala these kind of people they were already waiting for krishna and balara to have a wrestling match with them to jo kushti karne wale the chanura mustika toshala is tarah ke log the wo intezar kar rahe the bhagwan se kushti karne ka we may wonder why why wrestling match but it was explained that Krishna and Balaram every day they will wrestle with the cowherd boys when they're in the forest of Vrindavan. So, कोई आश्चर्य कर सकता है कि ये कुश्ती का क्यों रखा गया वहाँ पे? तो कृष्ण और बलराम वास्तविकता में रोज अपने गोप सखाओं के साथ में कुश्ती खेलते थे. So in this way, Kamsa was encouraging Krishna and Balaram, come to Mathura. We want to see your skill as wrestlers. Come and fight. तो इस तरह से कंस ने ये बहाना बनाया था और उन्होंने कृष्ण और बलराम को बोला कि आप आइए मथुरा में हम आपकी कुश्ती करने की योग्यताओं को देखना चाहते हैं एंड इफ दीज रेसलर्स फेल देन कंस इज रेडी हिमसेल्फ टू किल कृष्ण एंड बलराम और अगर ये कुश्ती करने वाले भी हार गए तो कंस ने तीसरा योजना बना रखा था कि खुद वो उपलब्ध है भगवान को हराने के लिए सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट कृष्ण एंड बलराम टू कम फ्रॉम वृंदावन टू मथुरा Kamsa asked Akrura that you are the uncle of these boys. You should go there to Braja and bring them. So Krishna and Balram ji ko wahan se Vrindavan se lane ke liye unhone Akrur ji ko bola kyunki Akrur ji ko bola ki aap unke uncle ho. Aap uncle ho to aap unko le ke aao. So Akrura thought, oh yes, I would love to go to Vrindavan to see the supreme personality of God. शक्रूर जी ने कहा हाँ मुझे मैं मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगेगा वृंदावन जाके मैं देखूंगा परम भगवान कृष्ण को He wasn't thinking I want to be a servant of Kamsa but he was thinking I want to have the darshan I want to see Krishna himself तो वो इसलिए उत्सुक नहीं थे कि उनको कंस का वो सेवा करना चाहते थे वास्तविक में भगवान का दर्शन करना चाहते थे इसलिए बहुत खुश थे So come Akrura drove his chariot from Mathura into Vrindavan and he reached Gokul in the evening just as when all the cows and the cowherd boys were coming home from the forest so kans ji ne apna rath chalaya mathura se vrindavan ki aur aur sham ko wo gokul pahunche jahan pe sare gop sakha aur sare bachche wapas vrindavan mein pahunch gaye so the whole journey Akrura was meditating and thinking I'm so fortunate I'm going to see Krishna I'm going to see the supreme personality of God So pure yatra mein Akrur ji ye soch rahe the ki main kitna saubhagyashali hu kitna mera param saubhagya hai ki main bhagwan ko milne ja raha hu Just like when you go to Tirupati you know when you go to Tirupati You always have to wait a few hours before you get in to see the deity. It always takes maybe five or six hours. It can take all day sometimes. So, आप आपको अगर आप अगर तिरुपति गए हों, तो जब आपको तिरुपति जाते हैं, अगर आपको वहाँ भगवान का दर्शन करना होता है, तो काफी घंटे लगते हैं आपको इंतजार करना पड़ता है। कई बार पांच से घंटे, कई बार पूरा दिन भी इंतजार करना पड़ता है। Now, when you actually see the deity of Balaji, you only see for a minute. You know, not not even a minute. You know, you just, come on, come on. You know, they're always you got to go. They move you on fast. Or जब आप वहाँ भगवान के दर्शन करने पहुँचते हैं, तो एक मिनट के लिए, एक मिनट के लिए भी नहीं, बहुत ही कुछ ही चारों के लिए वहाँ वो आपको जल्दी जल्दी कहते हैं, चलो 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 जल्दी चलो. I remember going. Many years ago, when I was a young man, and we would go, and the darshan was much longer, and we would we'd be allowed right into the actual room where the deity is worshipped. But over the years, because there's more and more people coming, and they want to move everybody quicker, so they don't even let you in. You just simply stand at the door of the the room where the deity is. So, my brother, that when I was in my young age, when I was in my young age. वहां पे गया तिरुपति दर्शन के लिए तो उस समय जो वहां पे इतना भीड़ नहीं होता था जितना अभी है तो हम लोग जो भगवान के कक्ष के अंदर से वहां से निकलते थे लेकिन अभी इतना भीड़ होता है तो आपको दरवाजे से ही 
But the point is that that waiting period where you're waiting to go into the temple, that is all part of the darshan, part of the getting in to see the deity. And so in the same way, Akrura, his journey to Vrindavan, he's coming from Mathura, he's journeying into Vrindavan, and the whole way he's thinking that I'm so fortunate, I'm going to see Krishna, I'm going to see the Supreme Lord. So, Akrur ji, Mathura se jate hi chale, to us pure yatra mein, Akrur ji, apne aap ke, apne sobhage ki baar baar sarana kar rathe ki, mein, kitna mera sobhage hai ki, mein bhagwan param bhagwan ka darshan karne ja raha. And he is really appreciating his good fortune and how rare it is that anybody gets this opportunity to actually go there to Vrindavan and to meet with Krishna and Balaram. Or apne sobhage ki baar baar sarana karte hoi, ho ye soch rahe the ki ye jo mauka hai, so when he got to Goku, he saw Krishna's lotus footprints in the ground and he could see the footprints with all the auspicious markings in his lotus feet, markings like the goad for controlling the elephant and markings like the thunderbolt and also the fish and many different other auspicious symbols are all there on the lotus feet of Krishna. So Akrur ji, when Gokul ke paas mein the, to unho ne jameen par Bhagwan Shri Krishna ke charan chinho ke nishan dekhe. Or jab unho ne charan chin ke nishan dekhe, to Bhagwan ke charan ke niche jo shub chin hote hain, jisme ki ek Somebody is actually God, then we should look at their lotus feet and see if all these suspicious markings are there on their lotus feet. And they say even on the hand, on the palm of the hand, there should be the Surasan Chakra. You should see that symbol of the Surasan Chakra. So somebody is really God, they're really the Supreme Lord, they should have these auspicious marks. So Akrura saw the lotus footprints of Lord Krishna, and when he saw them, he fell off his chariot and he rolled in the dust. He took the dust all over his body. And today, that same the same system is there that anyone who enters the holy dam, you should roll in the dust and take that dust all over your body. So Akrura, he shows us how to enter the holy dam. And he met with Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram and he explained to them the purpose in coming that he's been sent by Kamsa and Lord Kamsa wants him to come, wants them both to come for a wrestling match. So, of course, Krishna and Balaram know there's some evil purpose behind this, all of this, but they're, they're willing to comply and they said, oh, yes, we will come. So, Krishna and Balaram knew that Kansa had called that there was something wrong in the 
लेकिन फिर भी कृष्ण और बलराम जी ने बोला हाँ हाँ ठीक है हम लोग चलेंगे बट ऑफकोर्स द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग वेन लॉर्ड कृष्ण लॉर्ड बालाराम getting on the chariot to leave the gopis are very upset and they don't want krishna and balaram to leave vrinda to agli subah jab krishna aur balaram chalne chalne wale the aur rat pe aaseen hone wale the to gopiyan braj ki sari gopiyan wo bahut dukhi ho gaye the last thing they want is lord krishna to go away from vrinda and they try to do everything to stop him from going और ये उन, उनके जीवन का आखिरी चीज वो सोच सकते थे कि भगवान उनको छोड़कर कहीं जाए इसलिए उन्होंने जो कुछ कर सकते थे किया भगवान को रोकने के लिए नो दे वर होल्डिंग द चैरियट दे वर लाइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द चैरियट दे ट्राई टू डू एवरीथिंग नो नो कृष्ण कैंट लीव वो रथ को पकड़ के रखे हुए थे कुछ गोपियां रथ के आगे सोई हुई थी आगे लेट गई थी और बोल रही थी कि नहीं 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 कृष्ण आप जा नहीं सकते but nanda maharaj and the cowherd boys they're also going and this and lord krishna said don't worry i'm definitely coming back aur nanda maharaj aur jo baki bhi vyakti ja rahe the aur bhagwan ne bola ki aap chinta mat kijiye main main wapas zarur aaunga the word akrura that name akrura means someone who is not cruel but the gopis say this is not the proper name for you so agrur shabd ka matlab hai ki jo krur na ho aur wo lekin gopiyon ne jab dekha ki akrur ji unko lene aaye hain mathura ke liye to gopiyon ne bola ye naam tumhe suit nahi karta hai you are the most cruel person you are taking krishna away from us aap bahut hi krur ho aap krishna ko hamare se dur leke ja rahe ho so it said even the gopis cursed akrura aur aisa bola jata hai ki gopiyon ne akrur ji ko shap bhi de diya and the result was that although he was living in dwarka for some time he went had to go and live in banaras he was living akrura was living in dwarka with krishna but because of the gopis curse he ended up leaving dwarka and going to live in banaras to gopiyon ke is shap ki wajah se akrur ji jo dwarka mein param bhagwan ke sang mein rehte the unko us dwarka chhod ke banaras jana pada that was the result because he had not properly pacified the gopis he had not apologized to the gopis that i'm sorry i'm taking krishna away and i certainly i'll make arrangements to bring him back he didn't do anything to comfort the gopis kyunki akrur ji ne un gopiyon ko jab wo gopiyan bahut dukhi thi to akrur ji ne un gopiyon ko kuch aisa nahi kaha kuch aise shabd nahi kahe ki theek hai abhi mere ko le jana pad raha hai lekin main krishna ko wapas le aaunga zarur aisa vyavastha karunga क्योंकि उन्होंने ऐसे शब्द नहीं कहे तो गोपियों ने उनको श्राप दिया सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट बिकॉज ही डिडेंट शो शो प्रॉपर केयर फॉर द गोपीज एंड ट्राई टू पास ही डिडेंट ट्राई टू पास टू फाइव देम इन द पेन ऑफ सेपरेशन सो ही गॉट सम रिएक्शन तो क्योंकि उन्होंने गोपियों को ऐसे समय में जब वो बहुत क्रोधित थी तो कुछ ऐसे शब्द नहीं कहे उनको संतुष्ट करने का प्रयास नहीं किया इस वजह से उनको उसका भुगतना पड़ा and he actually got involved in the stealing of the shamantaka jewel and at that time then he left dwarka aur wo samantaka jo jo mani tha jiske bare mein hum charcha kar rahe the uski chori mein wo shamil ho gaye the aur fir unhone dwarka ko chhodna pada but anyway he brought krishna and balaram out of vrindavan and on the way to mathura they stopped at the ghat there's a akrura ghat there it's a bathing ghat which is very famous and lord krishna and lord balaram they went to take bath in the ghat so thair akrur ji vrindavan se krishna aur balaram ji ko lekar ke chale aur raste mein wo ek ghat par ruke aur us ghat ka naam hai akrur ghat ye bahut prasiddh ghat hai yahan par krishna aur balaram ji snan karne ke liye utre So Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram they took their bath there and then they came back and then Akrura said I will go and take my bath now and so when Akrura went to take his bath he was surprised because he saw Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram were still there 
in the water taking their bath. So Akrur, tab jab Krishna aur Balram snan karke wapis aa gaye, to Akrur ji ne kaha, "Main bhi ab snan kar leta hu." Aur jab Akrur ji snan karne gaye, to bahut aashchary chakit reh gaye, kyunki unhone dekha ki jaise hi wo pani mein gaye, to dekha Krishna aur Balram wahan par bhi the. So Akrur came back again to see if Krishna and Balram were on the chariot, and he was surprised. That he saw they were on the chariot, but he'd just seen them in the water. And so he went back again to take to see what's going on, who's there in the lake. But this time he didn't just see Krishna and Balaram, he saw Ananta Shesha. With the Mahavishnu laying on the body of Ananta Shesha, and all the different associates like Nanda and Sunanda and different demigods and great sages, and all they were all there surrounding Lord Ananta Shesha and Mahavishnu, and they were all offering prayers. So Akrur ji, jab dubara wapis pani mein dekhne aaye Krishna Balram ji ko. तो इस बार उनको कृष्ण और बलराम का दर्शन नहीं हुआ अभी तो इस बार महाविष्णु शेष सैया पर लेटे हुए थे और वहां पे नंद सुनंद अलग अलग देवी देवता अलग अलग साधु वो सब लोग भगवान का आराधना कर रहे थे Akrura, did you see something wonderful there when you were taking your bath? <laughs> he could see Akrura was looking just completely amazed that he'd seen all of these things. He'd seen the spiritual world. So Akrura said to Lord Krishna, said, My Lord, one who has seen you, then he has seen everything which is wonderful in the, in the air, in the space, in the sky, on the land, in the water, because seeing you, everything is in you. और जब भगवान ने ऐसा प्रश्न पूछा तो अक्रूर ने कहा कि हे भगवान जो आपका दर्शन कर रहा है वो सब कुछ देख लिया उसने आप को जिसने दर्शन किया उसने सब कुछ पृथ्वी पर हवा में पानी में जो भी कुछ है आपको दर्शन करने से उसने सब कुछ देख लिया सो अक्रूर इज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड एज द आचार्य इन ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण तो अक्रूर जी को बताया जाता है कि and simply by his prayers, he got all perfection. It is said in the nectar of devotion that one, a devotee whose lips are always decorated with prayers to Lord Krishna is always given respect by great saintly persons. And such persons are actually worshipable by the demigods. So, Batare Nectar of Devotion, Bhakti Rasamitra Sindhu, may as a Batate, he will get the Jinke, Hort Hamesha, Bhagwan, he Pratana, who Gaya Kate, who Sabi Sabi Devi Deta Kedora, or Sabi Vishish Logo Kedora, Vandani Hojate. So offering prayers is something which devotees are doing regularly because we're always chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. And the Hare Krishna mantra is a prayer. So the Hare Krishna mantra is both a prayer and it's the answer also to our prayer. The answer it's the, it's the answer to our prayer because we are praying to Krishna, please engage us in your service. 
तो ये हमारी प्रार्थना का उत्तर इसलिए है क्योंकि हम भगवान से ये प्रार्थना कर रहे हैं कि ये भगवान आप मुझे अपनी सेवा में नियुक्त कीजिए एंड व्हेन वी आर चैंटिंग द होली नेम देन वी आर एंगेजिंग इन द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा और हम जब भगवान के दिव्य नामों का जप कर रहे हैं तो भगवान की सेवा ही कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज अ स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ द हरि कृष्णा मंत्र दैट इज बोथ अ प्रेयर एंड इट्स आल्सो द आंसर टू द प्रेयर तो ये हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र का एक विशेषता है कि ये प्रार्थना भी है और उस प्रार्थना का उत्तर भी है ऑफ कोर्स डिवोटीज वांट टू ऑलवेज चैंट द होली नेम ऑल देयर लिप्स वी वांट देम ऑलवेज टू बी एंगेज्ड इन द चैंटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम तो भक्त जो है हर समय भगवान के दिव्य नाम का जप करना चाहते हैं बट देयर आर मेनी अदर प्रेयर्स वी कैन आल्सो ऑफर वी नो देयर आर For example, in Bhagavad Gita, you have Arjuna offering prayers to Lord Krishna when he saw the universal form. So, Bhakta, always Hare Krishna Mahamantra ke dwara apni prarthana kehte hain. Lekin kuch aur prarthana bhi hain jo Bhakt dwara sakte hain. Jaise ki Bhagavad Gita mein Arjun jo hai Bhagwan ke virat roop ke samay unki prarthana karte hain. And we have prayers offered by Grandfather Bhishma at the time of his departure from the world. और हम देखते हैं कि श्री भीष्म देव भी भगवान को प्रार्थनाएं करते हैं अपने इस अपनी मृत्यु से पहले वे हैव क्वीन कुंती ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा व्हेन लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज प्रिपेयरिंग टू लीव हस्तिनापुर एंड गो बैक टू द्वारका यू हैव क्वीन कुंती अपीयरिंग एंड ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू कृष्णा तो इसी तरह से कुंती महारानी भी अपनी प्रार्थनाएं करती हैं खास तौर से जब भगवान हस्तिनापुर को छोड़कर द्वारका की ओर जा रहे होते हैं तो उस समय कुंती देवी अपनी प्रार्थनाएं कहती है so you have also what the whole shrimad bhagavatam is full of prayers many wonderful prayers offered by wonderful devotees so ye pura shrimad bhagavatam prarthnaon se bhara hai bahut sari sundar prarthnaye ki hai bhagwan ke sundar bhakta the demi gods come into the prison house of kamsa where devaki was holding lord krishna in her womb and the demi gods offer prayers to krishna while he's still in the womb of devaki परम भगवान कृष्ण देव की माता के गर्भ में थे तो उस समय कंस के कारागार में अलग अलग देवी देवताओं ने आगे भी भगवान से प्रार्थनाएं की एंड व्हेन लॉर्ड कृष्ण अपीयर्स वासुदेव एंड देवाकी बोथ ऑफर प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण और जब भगवान प्रकट होते हैं तो उस समय वासुदेव और देवकी वो दोनों भी भगवान का प्रार्थनाएं करते हैं बट नंद महाराज एंड मदर यशोदा दे डोंट ऑफर प्रेयर लेकिन नंद महाराज और यशोदा मैया ये दोनों प्रार्थना नहीं कहते दे हैव अ डिफरेंट मूड अ डिफरेंट रास विद लॉर्ड कृष्णा उनका भगवान से एक विशेष संबंध है संबंध विशेष रस है सो वी सी द प्रोग्रेस व्हिच इज देयर इन दिस डिफरेंट अंगस ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस दैट आफ्टर fixing the mind on the lotus feet of the lord then we worship the deity of the lord and while worshiping the deity of the lord then we will also offer prayers to the lord to hum dekh sakte hain ki nam vidha bhakti ke alag alag vidhiyon mein ye kaise ek sundar kram hai ki bhagwan ke charan kamal paad sevan ke baad hum bhagwan ka bhagwan ke arth vigrah ka seva karte hain और जब हम भगवान का विग्रह का सेवा करते हैं तो हम प्रार्थनाएं भी कहते हैं लास्ट नाइट वी स्पोक अबाउट द वर्शिप ऑफ द डीटी एंड पार्ट ऑफ द वर्शिप ऑफ द डीटी इज आल्सो ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू द डीटी तो कल कल शाम को हमने भगवान के आज के विग्रह की जो पूजा है उसके बारे में चर्चा किया था तो ये प्रार्थनाएं करना भी उसी का भाग है not everybody may do that you know the, the, many times people have a deity they, they they don't quite know how to worship the deity so kai saro kai sare logo ke paas bhagwan ke arch vigraha hote hain lekin kai bar unko pata nahi hota ki uski kaise seva karni and it said even if one is, makes offenses in worshiping the deity one can overcome the offenses by chanting one chapter reciting one chapter of bhagavad gita और ऐसा बताया जाता है कि अगर भगवान की सेवा करते समय भक्त से कुछ अपराध हो जाते हैं तो भगवत गीता का एक अध्याय को पूरे श्लोकों को पढ़ने से उनके सारे जो अपराध हैं उससे मुक्त हो जाते हैं ऑफ कोर्स वी एज द वोटीज वी वो चैंट द हरे कृष्णा मंत्र टू अटोन फॉर आवर ऑफेंसेस तो हम भक्त 
हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र का जब करते हैं अपनी गलतियों की माफी के लिए शुड चैंट एक्स्ट्रा राउंड तो हमें एक्स्ट्रा माला करना चाहिए Sometimes people think I'm worshiping the deity. I don't need to chant rounds. कई बार लोग ऐसा सोचते हैं कि मैं भगवान के अष्ट विग्रह की सेवा कर रहा हूँ इसलिए मुझे माला करने की जरूरत नहीं है. But you're worshiping the deity. You should chant more rounds. लेकिन अगर आप भगवान के अष्ट विग्रह की सेवा कर रहे हैं तो आपको और ज़्यादा जप करना चाहिए. And that will protect you from reactions for offenses. और वो आपको सब अपराधों से बचाएँ. But offering prayers is something which we have every day. For example, we have the Govinda prayers every morning when we greet the deities. So, Bhagwan ko ye prarthana hai kya na? Ye ham roj karte hain. Udharan ke liye subah ham Govinda prayer chalate hain jab darshan aarti hota hai. We're only reciting two verses from the Brahma Samhita. तो हम ब्रह्म समिता में से केवल दोष लोगों को उस समय ज्ञात करते हैं। तो हमें ये प्रार्थनाएं आनी चाहिए और हमें आदत होना चाहिए भगवान की संतुष्टि के लिए ये प्रार्थनाएं हम लोग गाए भगवान के समक्ष Now, Lord Brahma's prayers in the Brahma Samhita are very nice. Now, they they have a particular uh, mood that they don't ask for anything. So, Brahma Ji ki prarthana hai jo Brahma Samhita mein hai, wo bahut bahut achhi hai, bahut vishesh hai, aur unki ek visheshta hai ki wo Bhagwan se kuch mang nahi rahe. Usually, when when we offer prayers, you know, I mean, you know the the standard prayer. Give me a nice house, a home, all by the sea. Om Jai Jagadish Hari. तो आप समझ गए भगवान कि जब हम जाते हैं प्रार्थना करते हैं भगवान से बहुत कुछ मांगने लगते हैं घर दो ये दो वो दो. So you know, you know, usually people go to temples, they pray, and they want something. You know, they're asking the Lord, give me something. But Lord Brahma's prayers, which we are singing every morning when we worship the deity, there is no request for anything. लेकिन ब्रह्मा जी के द्वारा की गई ये स्तुति ब्रह्म समिता जो हम रोज सुबह गाते हैं इसमें ऐसा कुछ भगवान से मांगने का प्रार्थना नहीं है. It's only pure glorification of the Lord. ये केवल भगवान का शुद्ध गुणानुवर्णन है दैट इज द मूड ऑफ प्योर डिवोशन ये शुद्ध भक्ति का मूड है नाउ वन कैन आल्सो ऑफर प्रेयर्स विद अ प्योर डिजायर वन इन इन सबमिशन टू द लॉर्ड सिंपली रिक्वेस्टिंग सम स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस तो इसी शुद्ध भक्ति के भाव में कोई भगवान को आध्यात्मिक प्रगति करना चाहता हूं पर ऐसा प्रार्थना कह सकते हैं In the nectar of devotion, which is Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, uh, there's a beautiful prayer, very nice prayer, which says, "Just like young boys have a natural attraction for young girls, and young girls have a natural attraction for young boys, so the devotee prays in the same way." Let me also become naturally attracted, spontaneously attracted to the service of the Supreme Lord. So, Bhakti Rasam is Hindu. Me, ye vishesh prarna kiya gaya hai, jisme bola hai ki jis prakar se swabhavik roop se yuva ladka ek yuva sri ke prati akarshit hota hai aur yuva sri jo hai yuva purush ke prati akarshit hoti hai. इसी तरह से हे भगवान मुझ पर ऐसा कृपा कीजिए कि मेरा हमेशा स्वाभाविक आकर्षण हो आपकी सेवा के लिए सो वी ऑल हैव द एक्सपीरियंस यू नो नोबडी ट्रेन्स अस बट व्हेन यू आर यंग मैन नेचुरल अट्रैक्शन इज देयर टू यंग वुमेन इन द सेम वे यंग वुमेन हैव अ नेचुरल अट्रैक्शन टू यंग मैन नोबडी ट्रेन्स देम इट्स जस्ट नेचुरल इट्स देयर इट्स Within us. तो आप देख सकते हैं कि हमें इसमें कोई ट्रेनिंग नहीं देता है जब लड़का जवान होता है तो अपने आप 
इस लड़की के प्रति उसका आकर्षण हो जाता है लड़की का कोई आकर्षण लड़के के प्रति कोई ट्रेनिंग नहीं देता है स्वाभाविक है so devotee prays to krishna that just like the young boys and the young girls are attracted to each other i want to become attracted to you in the same spontaneous natural manner to bhakt jay is tarah ki prarthna karta hai bhagwan ko ki jis tarah se ek yuva ladka swabhavik roop se ek ladki se aakarshit hai to mera bhi bhagwan aap se aisa aakarshan ho ki swabhavik roop se main aap se aakarshit hota hu we have to know what to ask the lord for to hame pata hona chahiye ki bhagwan se hame mangna kya hai we give the example there's a story about the old lady that she was living in the forest and she made her living she supported herself she would collect dry firewood she would go through the forest and pick up all the pieces of wood and collect it all and put it in a basket and then she put the basket on her head and go to the market and sell the wood to aapne wo ek kahani suna hoga ki ek boodi aurat thi aur wo jangal mein rehti thi aur uska jo vyavsay tha ki jangal mein sukhi lakdi chun kar ek tokri mein bhar ke laati thi apne sir pe bhar ke laati thi aur fir usko bechti thi so one day the lady she had a big basket of wood but when she was walking to go to market she tripped and the whole basket fell off her head and all the wood fell down to ek bar wo buri aurat unne apne sir pe bahut sara lakdiyan se bhara hua tokri utha rakha tha aur wo pisal ke giri aur sara lakdiyan jo bikhar gaya no so she thought oh how will i ever get the wood back on my head to wo sochne lagi ki oh mera ye sara lakdiyan gir gaya mere kaise isko sir pe wapas rakhu so she prayed to god oh bhagwan bhagwan please come please help me to bhagwan se prarthna karne lagi bhagwan aap aaiye mera madad kijiye so the lord appeared aur bhagwan wahan pe aa gaye and he said yes what do you want ab bhagwan unko kya batao aapko kya chahiye she said can help me get this wood on my head <laughs> कृष्ण Vasudev and Devaki in their previous life they had been Prishni and Sutapa and as Prishni and Sutapa they did great austerities to get the lord as their child to jaise ki aap dekhte hain Vasudev aur Devaki ke case mein ki pichle jan mein wo Prishni aur Sutapa the aur unne bahut tapasya kiya bhagwan ko prapt karne ke they had only dry leaves which fell from the tree for a, a, a very long time aur wo keval pedo se sukhe gire patte unko khate the aur bahut lambe samay tak aisa kar raha so they got that benediction they could have the lord all right you want the lord as your son three birds okay to un unhone jo ye unka wo chahte the ki bhagwan unke putra ke roop mein aaye So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa. So first birth, Lord came as a Prishni Tapa भगवान वामन देव उनके घर पे प्रकट हुए एंड देन दे केम अगेन वासुदेव एंड देवाकी और उसके बाद फिर वो वासुदेव और देवकी बन के आए एंड अगेन लॉर्ड कृष्ण दिस टाइम लॉर्ड कृष्ण कम्स एज हिज सन और इस बार भगवान कृष्ण उनके पुत्र के रूप में आते हैं ऑफ कोर्स ही केम इन हिज फोर आर्म फॉर्म एज लॉर्ड लाइक नारायण फॉर्म वासुदेव कृष्ण वी से तो भगवान जो है चतुर भुज रूप में प्रकट हुए जिनको हम नारायण उन्होंने 
जन्म तो दे दिया लेकिन भगवान की बाल्य काल की लीलाओं का आनंद नहीं ले पाए दे आर इन दिजन हाउस ऑफ कंस वो कंस के कारागार में थे Vasudev took the child Krishna over to the home of Nanda Maharaj, and he exchanged the baby, brought back the baby girl. Or Vasudev, जो है भगवान को नंद महाराज के घर ले गए और वहाँ पे उन्होंने बच्चों को बदल दिया और एक एक कन्या को ले आए. And then Kamsa came. He wanted to kill the baby, but then the baby rose up in the air. She revealed the form that she was the goddess uh, Durga. So Kamsa came. उस बच्चे का वध करने तो वो जो बच्ची थी जो वो कंस के हाथ से ऊपर चले गए और उन्होंने अपना रूप दिखाया और वो थी कौन दुर्गा जी सो वासुदेव देवाकी दे वर लेफ्ट इन द प्रिजन दे वर दे डिडंट गेट टू एन्जॉय द चाइल्डहुड पास्ट दे गॉट टू गिव बर्थ टू द चाइल्ड बट नॉट टू एन्जॉय द चाइल्डहुड पास्ट टाइम सो वासुदेव और देव की वो जेल में ही रहे और उनको वो जो भगवान के प्रेममय जो भगवान की लीला थी उससे वो वंचित रहे Later on, Lord Krishna killed Kamsa. At that time, when Akrura brought Krishna to the Mathura, they had the wrestling match. Krishna killed the wrestlers, and then Kamsa tried to kill Krishna, and Krishna killed Kamsa. So, after that, they were told that Krishna and Balaram came to the Mathura, and there was a fight, and in that fight. पहले कृष्ण बलराम ने जितने भी वहां पे कुश्ती करने आए थे with the most pleasing part every woman knows who's had a child the best part of the being the mother is when the child is the young baby the young child that the young child is so attached to the mother so jo mata hai jinke bacche hai wo jante hai ki sabse anandayak samay hota hai mata ke liye jab bacche chote hote hai और उस समय वो छोटे बच्चे माता से बहुत आकर्षण होता है उनका। And once the child grows up, twelve years old, you know, bye bye mummy. हाँ, ऐसे ही बारह साल का होता है कि तब bye bye mummy. Yeah, you know, they're not going to hold your hand anymore. They don't listen to you anymore. It's a whole different mood. और फिर रात का वो हाथ पकड़ के नहीं चलते, आपकी बात नहीं सुनते, अब बहुत अलग हो जाते हैं। When the little child's young, it's so sweet, and they grow up. Chota hota hai to bahut madhur hota hai, uski sari baatein hum bada hota hai to bilkul khatarnaak. Anyway, Vasudev later on he regretted that you know I did all this austerity to get Krishna as my child. I should have thought about getting liberation. Vasudev ji ne baad mein. तो रशोक किया कि मैं जो है भगवान को प्राप्त करने के लिए इतना तपस्या किया मुझे तो मुक्ति की कामना करनी चाहिए थी। What was the point? Just to go through all that, just to get Krishna as my child, and then immediately he's born. He goes, he, you know, I look, I look, he leaves me. तो वो सोच रहे थे कि ये क्या बात है कि इतना तपस्या किया भगवान जैसे ही पैदा हुआ एकदम से साथ चले गए। I should have tried to get liberation, to get out of this material world, to get free of birth and death. तो इससे अच्छा मैं मुक्ति की कामना करता और जन मृत्यु के चक्कर से बच जाता I should try to go back to the spiritual world to the kingdom of God then I could be with Krishna all the time तो ज्यादा अच्छा होता कि मैं भगवत धाम वापस जाने के लिए कामना करता और वहां पे मैं हमेशा भगवान का संग कर पाता mm, I wasted all my time <laughs> मैंने अपना सारा टाइम खराब कर दिया So this is one of the problems which we face in offering prayers that we don't actually know what we should be praying for. So ये एक दिक्कत हम लोग हमारे सामने आती है कि हमें पता ही नहीं कि भगवान से मांगना क्या है. There was this one man when Prabhupada was in New York, 1960s. There was this one man. He was a famous uh, gospel singer. 
You know, I don't, uh, maybe you being Indian, you don't know gospel, but in America anyway, they have this thing, you know, like the gospel singers, you know, and then they sing the blues, you know, and they play the guitar and they sing songs about the Lord and God and like this, you know. So there was this one man, he was a famous man. He made a lot of recordings of songs. He was called the Reverend Gary Davis. He came to meet Prabhupada. So, uh, 1960s, in the 1960s, there was a Sufi singer in America, the name of America. The Reverend, the Reverend meaning it's a Christian minister, a Reverend, Gary Davies. Okay, so his name was and he was a Sufi, and he was playing a guitar, and he was playing a guitar, and he was playing a guitar. So he came to meet Prabhupada and he was asking Prabhupada, he was saying, Swamiji, what to pray for? He was a minister of religion. And he was singing songs about God. And he came to Prabhupada and he said, I don't know what we should be praying for. What should we pray for? You know, because usually, you know, if you go to, you know, Christian church or Hindu temple, you know, so many places, what do they pray for? Give me a long life and a home and a nice wife all by the sea, right? <laughs> And protect me from the COVID and protect me from the cancer and protect me from all, all the dangers of the material world and just let me enjoy my sense gratification. So this man who came to Prabhupada, he was an intelligent man. He could understand that just to pray to God for all of these things is not good. There must be something more to pray for. But he couldn't think what it is. What am I? What are we supposed to pray for? But to Prabhupada, it was very clear what we're supposed to pray for. We should simply pray, Oh, Supreme Lord Krishna, please engage me in your service. This is the prayer of a devotee. But how to serve Krishna, that we also have to learn. And that we learn from Bhagavad Gita and from the devotees and from uh, the sadhus. We serve Krishna by chanting his name, by worshipping Krishna, by reading the books about Krishna. So you can see how all the questions can be answered in Krishna consciousness. And so Lord Chaitanya also teaches us to pray. He teaches us Nadanam Najanam Nasundarim Kavitam Vajagadisha Kamaye 
मम जन्मनी जन्मनीश्वरे भवतत् भक्तिर आहितकीत्वे ओ माइटी लॉर्ड आई हैव नो डिजायर टू अक्यूमुलेट वेल्थ नॉर डू आई वांट टू एन्जॉय द अदर सेक्स नॉर डू आई वांट एनी फेम और फॉलोअर्स I simply want your devotional service, birth after birth. So, Sri Man Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, ये सिखाते हैं कि हमें किस तरह का प्रार्थना करना चाहिए न धनम न जनम न सुंदरी कि ये भगवान ये ये परम भगवान मुझे किसी प्रकार के धन की कामना नहीं सुंदर स्त्री की कामना नहीं यश की कामना नहीं अनुयायों की कामना नहीं मुझे तो आपकी प्रेम मई भक्ति की कामना है. And note, Lord Chaitanya doesn't even ask for liberation. He says, "Birth after birth, I just want devotional service." Or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, अपनी प्रार्थनाओं में मुक्ति के बारे में भी को भी को भी कुछ स्थान नहीं दे रहे और वो तारे कि जन्म जन्म में बार बार जन्म लेके मैं मैं आप ऐसा सेवा करूँ. We often get devotees. So, oh no, I don't want to take birth again. Oh, I don't want to birth again. But Lord Chaitanya said, "No, birth after birth, devotional service." So, कई बार भक्त बोलते नहीं नहीं अब दोबारा बहुत ही जगह में जन्म नहीं लेना है लेकिन चैतन्य महाप्रभु कहते हैं जन्म जन्म के बाद मुझे आपका हर एक जन्म में आपका शुद्ध भक्ति करना That's pure devotion. ये शुद्ध भक्ति है. Okay, any questions? Yes, Maharaji. You don't get it. So, it's a question that we always have to do for the Lord. We pray to God, but we don't get it. Well, keep praying. <laughs> keep praying. Krishna is testing you. That prayer itself, that is pure devotion. If you're praying for, for pure devotional service, that's very good. That is pure devotion. So, Maharaj is telling you that you are doing prayer. भगवान आपका हो सकता है टेस्ट ले रहे हो और वास्तविकता में शुद्ध भक्ति के करने की जो प्रार्थना है वो भी शुद्ध भक्ति ही है humble nature that you don't realize you're doing pure devotional service but actually just by praying in that mood that is pure devotion so aap apni vinamrata ke karan shayad isko soch nahi pa rahe ki aap shuddh bhakti kar rahe hain lekin vastavikta mein aisa mood ke sath hum shuddh bhakti karte hain so keep praying like that isliye aap aisa prarthna karte rahiye mm -hmm. yes prabhu shanti ki ka sarva ka prashna तो इनका प्रश्न है कि ये हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र का जब ये आपने बताया कि ये भगवान की सेवा है ये भगवान की सेवा क्यों है ये तो अपने लिए है हमारे लिए नो चैंटिंग इज प्लीजिंग टू कृष्ण कृष्ण लाइक्स टू हियर अस कॉल हिज नेम बट यू हैव टू कॉल हिज नेम विद लव देन इट्स प्लीजिंग टू कृष्ण तो ये जो जप है ये भगवान को बहुत संतुष्टि देता है जब कोई व्यक्ति भगवान के नामों को पुकारता है प्रेम के साथ तो इससे भगवान बहुत प्रसन्न होते हैं सो व्हेन वी कॉल द नेम व्हेन वी आर चैंटिंग वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वी आर एड्रेसिंग लॉर्ड कृष्णा वी आर कॉलिंग हिज नेम एंड इट्स नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कृष्णा द नेम ऑफ कृष्णा इज कृष्णा तो जब हम जब कर रहे हैं तो हम भगवान को पुकार रहे हैं और भगवान का नाम और भगवान अभिन्न है So just that chanting itself, Lord Krishna said, "I am not in the hearts of the yogis meditating on me, and I'm not in Vaikuntha, but I am wherever my devotees, like Narada, are chanting my holy name." So, for the Bhagwan, to tell you that I am not in the yogis' hearts, and I am not in Vaikuntha, but I am where my devotees, like Narada, are chanting my holy name. So, for the Bhagwan, to tell you that I am not in the yogis' hearts, and I am not in Vaikuntha, but I am where my devotees, like Narada, So chanting the holy name is service to Krishna. It's the most dear service to Krishna. Bhagwan ke tibe naam ho gaya jab seva hai Bhagwan ki aur ye sabse priya seva hai. Yes. When we start japa or chanting, we just pray, please Lord, please engage me in your service. So then the service came. So we that doesn't so that much of interest, Maharaj. We think. I I will first do my japa and then we will finish the service. So what is it is the preference for the service and for the japa? 
तो प्रभु जी कह रहे हैं कि जब हम जब करते हैं भगवान से प्रार्थना करते हैं कि भगवान मुझे अपनी सेवा में नियुक्त कीजिए और उस समय फिर सेवा आ जाता है तो सेवा आता है तो फिर हम कहते हैं कि पहले अपना जब कर लू बाद में सेवा करूंगा तो क्या सही है यू हैव टू कंसिडर द प्रायोरिटीज If nobody's cooking prasadam in the morning, and they ask you to go in the kitchen and help cook prasadam, and you just say no, I'm chanting my japa, then you won't get prasadam in the morning. So. So Maharaj said that you have to see what is necessary. If in the morning no one is making prasad, and the devotee says that you have to make prasad, and if you don't make prasad, then you will not get prasad. Hmm. So you have to see what is necessary. And just like in Prabhupada's time, you know, there were telephones ringing. So if the telephone was ringing in the temple, somebody was supposed to pick it up. If nobody picked it up and they just left the phone ringing all the time, Prabhupada would get angry and say, "Why don't you answer the phone?" So, just like Prabhupada ji's time, when bhakt ka kai baar jab kar rahe hote the, aur usma pe koi apna phone chhod gaya, aur phone baj raha hai, to Prabhupada to wo bhakt us phone ko utha ke jawab de, usko phone ko utha lete the. जा <laughs> और आप आप बाहर नहीं उसको दरवाजा नहीं खोलते आप कह रहे हो मैं तो जब कर रहा हूँ अपना इट्स नो गुड तो ये अच्छा नहीं है तो महाराज इस क्वेश्चन इज दैट कृष्णा कमिटेड टू गोपी दैट आई विल कम बैक टू वृंदावन वाई इट इज नॉट रिटर्न नो ही डिड He did return. My is telling you what he said. He's in the hearts of the gopis. No gopis is there. He eternally resides in the hearts of the gopis. वो सनातन रू सनातन काल से गोपियों के हित में निवास करते हैं. Yes, bro. मानो तो ये बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है आपका लेक्चर. लेकिन जब यहाँ से आप जाएंगे. तो बहुत दुख होगा महाराज और अब अगला प्रोग्राम महाराज कहा होगा अगर इंडिया में होगा तो हम जरूर जाएंगे महाराज प्रभु जी सेइंग दैट नाउ यू आर गिविंग दिस ब्यूटीफुल क्लासेस इट इज सो नाइस एंड व्हेन यू विल गो देन वी विल मिस यू वेरी मच एंड Where you will have these programs? I, I want to visit there. <laughs> no, no. Krishna will send more people after me. I'm only the first dose. The nectar is still to come. There's much more nectar to come. I'm just the first dose. Don't worry. चिंता मत करो भगवान और भी यहाँ भक्तों को भेजेंगे मैंने तो बस शुरुआत किया है और ये अमृत का धारा प्रभाव होता रहेगा ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चन इनका प्रश्न है कि द्वारका में सोलह हजार एक सौ आठ रानियों के साथ भगवान अपने आप को विस्तारित कर लेते हैं और हर एक के साथ रहते हैं तो यहाँ पर वृंदावन की गोपियों के लिए भगवान ने क्यों अपने आप को विस्तारित नहीं किया उधर भी चले जाते कंस से भी मिल लेते और इधर भी गोपियों के पास भी रहते हैं Well, you have to appreciate that Krishna leaving the gopis is going to increase their love for him. तो आपको ये बात समझना चाहिए कि कृष्ण जब गोपियों को छोड़कर जाते हैं, तो वास्तविकता में वो गोपियों के प्रेम को बढ़ाता है. If they are seeing Krishna every day, then they become familiar with him, 
and it creates, you know, not, there's not so much appreciation there. But by separating himself from the gopis, then the gopis became more in love with Krishna and their love for Krishna greatly enhanced. So, if Krishna is in the house, 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 in yeah, the, the love in separation is greater because then when you meet after being separate for a long time, then you feel so much pleasure. But if every day you're there, you know, you don't appreciate so much. So that's why Krishna left them and why he didn't expand himself. He wants to increase their love. Yes. Well, we can explain that there are two features of Krishna. You have the feature of Krishna in Vrindavan, which we would call Shamsundar Krishna. And then the feature of Krishna, which goes out of Vrindavan, is Vasudev Krishna. So, Maharaj Bhattare ki Bhagavan ke do tarah ke roop hai, ek to Vasudev Krishna aur ek hai Sham Sundar Krishna. So, jo Sham Sundar Krishna hai, wo Vrindavan mein hamesha rehte hai, aur jo bahar jate hai, Vasudev Krishna. And the Vasudev Krishna feature is subordinate to the Sham Sundar Krishna. So, Vasudev Krishna ka jo roop hai, wo Sham Sundar Krishna it's the Shamsundar form. It's the Shamsundar form of Krishna, which gives the pleasure to the de devotees, and it's the Vasudev Krishna form, which is doing the killing of the demons. So, ये Shamsundar Krishna का जो रूप है भगवान का वो है जो भक्तों को आनंद देता है और जो Vasudev Krishna है वो वो है जो आसुरों का वध करते हैं. So both these forms were combined in one form initially. And for the childhood Leela, it's Shamsundar Krishna. But when it comes time for Krishna to leave Vrindavan, at that time the Shamsundar form of Krishna becomes unmanifested. Mm. 
The Shamsundar form of Krishna actually is what's given birth by Mother Yashoda. And the Vasudev Krishna form was what appeared to Vasudev in Devaki. So when Vasudev brought his baby Krishna over to Gokul, he that Vasudev Krishna form entered into the Shamsundar Krishna form, which Mother Yashoda had given birth to. So, jab, jab, uh, Vasudev uh, Krishna ko Mathura se vin, vin, uh, Nanda Maharaj ke haan pe leke aaye, to wo jo Vasudev Krishna te, wo Shyam Sundar Krishna mein visadrit ho gaye. So, you, you have one Krishna. So, obviously, ek Krishna ho gaye. But... Who? No, Yashoda. Yeah, Yashoda has two children. Yes. Right. One boy, one girl. Right. So if you ask the Bridge Basi people who is the father and mother of Krishna, they will say Nanda and Yashoda. But other people, they will say Vasudev and Devaki. They don't know. They don't know the confidential nature of Lord Krishna's birth. Okay. Yes. My question is related to the Abhuri. So, uh, uh, as you have mentioned in previous lectures, that it is just uh, offense in the Vaishnava is the greatest offense. However, uh, I think Abhuri also offenses the Gopi, the greatest devotee of the Lord. And they also cursed him so that he left the association of Lord Krishna. Uh, it still be considered Abhuri as the greatest devotee. So, it's kind of. Uh, uh, प्रवृत्ति का प्रश्न है कि आपने पहले के लेक्चर में बताया था कि पैशनो पैशनो अपराध जो बड़ा खतरनाक होता है लेकिन हम यहाँ पे देख रहे हैं कि अक्रूर जी ने सबसे जो परम पैशनो हैं गोपियाँ उनके प्रति अपराध किया जिसके कारण उनको कृष्ण से दूर जाना पड़ा द्वारका से उनको बनारस आना पड़ा लेकिन फिर He's a great devotee, right? When he's in offering those prayers, going to Krishna and like that, he was that was pure devotion. Yes, he, he got problems because he didn't properly satisfy the gopis. So just like people often understand, don't understand Grandfather Bhishma. Grandfather Bhishma is, you know, with Duryodhan, fighting for Duryodhan on the side of Duryodhan, fighting for the Kauravas against the Pandavas. He's fighting against Arjuna and Krishna, but he's a great devotee. So, just like and even Bhishma was there when Draupadi was being disrobed and he didn't stop, he didn't interfere. But still, at the end of his life, Lord Krishna came in front of him, and Grandfather Bhishma offered such nice prayers. And not only that, but he spoke for many days on many subject matters to encourage Maharaj Yudhisthira to perform the duty of the king. 
महाराज परीक्षित और जितने भी वहां पे लोग थे उनको निर्देश दिए कि कैसे उनको राजा का कारोबार संभालना चाहिए so similar so grandfather bishma is one of the mahajans he spoke on the science of devotional service to bishma jo hai wo ek mahajan hai aur wo shuddh bhakti ke vishay mein bahut batate hain and akrura also his prayers are considered you know just by his prayers that he got perfection to akrura ji ne bhi apni prarthnao ke dwara He is considered the the example in offering prayers. So, so we study his prayers. We don't study about his etiquette in dealing with the gopis. So, हम उनकी प्रार्थनाओं के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं हम उनके गोपियों से किस तरह से उन्हें व्यवहार किया उसके बारे में नहीं. Yeah, we can find fault with that, but there's no fault with his prayers. उसमें हम कमी निकाल सकते हैं लेकिन उनकी प्रार्थनाओं में कोई कमी नहीं. Okay, there's one question there. Yeah. Uh, Divya Mata Ji, want to ask? Oh, now there's two, two hands up. Yes, Prabhu has a question. My right, something can come up. Okay. There can be. Can be also. So go ahead. Yes. Well, he's coming from Lord Shiva. It's, he's not Lord Shiva, but he's coming from Lord Shiva. So he's some one aspect of Lord Shiva. So you are saying that, but he is not Lord Shiva. 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 He is Just simply one post, one partial aspect of Lord Shiva doesn't make him Lord Shiva. तो वो उनका जो आंशिक एक एस्पेक्ट है वो उनको भगवान शिव नहीं बनाते. And we see Lord Shiva also. He has his problems. He has his faults. Sometimes he's fighting against Lord Krishna. तो और हम देखते हैं कि भगवान शिव जो है वहाँ पे वहाँ उनके साथ भी कभी दिक्कत है वो भी कई बार भगवान कृष्ण से युद्ध करते हैं. So these things are there. Durvas is powerful. He can go to the spiritual world. Durvas is powerful. He can go to the spiritual world. Durvas is powerful. He can go to the spiritual world. He could go to Lord Narayan and ask Lord Narayan to save him from the Sudarshan Chakra. वो भगवान नारायण के पास भी चले गए और उन्होंने कहा कि सुदर्शन चक्र से मेरी रक्षा कीजिए। But Lord Narayan told him that I can't save you. लेकिन भगवान नारायण ने बोला कि नहीं मैं आपको नहीं बचा सकता। You have to go to the devotee. आपको भक्त के पास जाना पड़ेगा। Because even greater than Lord Narayan are the devotees of Lord Narayan. क्योंकि भगवान नारायण से बड़े हैं उनके पास। So Durvas had to come and fall at the feet of Maharaj Ambarish. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his offense. And in this way, he got freed from his off
वैसा देखा गया कि कई लोग जो बहुत आध्यात्मिक बहुत उच्च कोटि के हैं वो भी कई बार गलती करते हैं लेकिन फिर वो अपनी गलती की माफी मांगते हैं अगर आपने किसी भक्ति प्रति अपराध किया है तो उससे माफी मांग लीजिए सो दुर्वासा दिद दैट और दुर्वासा ने ऐसा ही किया Well, you have to understand that Arjuna is a Shatriya, and according to the Vedic culture, the Shatriya's duty is to fight. When they're challenged to fight, then they have to accept the challenge. So, you have to understand that Arjuna is a Shatriya, and according to the Vedic culture, the Shatriya's duty is to fight. When they're challenged to fight, then they have to accept the challenge. So, you have to understand that Arjuna is a Shatriya, and according to the Vedic culture, the Shatriya's duty is to fight. When they're challenged to fight, then they have to accept the challenge. So, you have to understand that Arjuna is a Shatriya, and according to the Vedic culture, the Shatriya's duty is to fight. When they're challenged to fight, then they have to accept the challenge. So, you have to understand that Arjuna is a Shatriya, and according to the Vedic proper when it's used in the service of religion in the service of god so aapko lagta hai ki yuddh karna acha nahi hai lekin ye yuddh karna acha hai agar wo dharm ki sthapna ke liye hai just like manu samita says someone is a murderer they should be hung jaise ki manu samita mein bataya gaya hai ki agar kisi ne kisi ka kisi ko mara hai to usko bhi tuli chada dena chahiye are you against capital punishment आप आप क्या जो फांसी दी जाती है उसके विरुद्ध हैं इन फेवर ऑफ इट ओके सो दैट्स वायलेंस राइट तो वो आप देखो कि उसमें वो हिंसा है सो वायलेंस कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर गुड पर्पसेस तो हिंसा को अच्छे कार्य के लिए इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है समटाइम्स द फादर हैज टू थ्रेटन द चाइल्ड यू बिहेव प्रॉपर्ली और एल्स आई विल बीट यू कई बार पिताजी को अपने बेटे को थोड़ा समझाना पड़ता है कि तुम ठीक से करो सब कुछ नहीं तो पीटूंगा तुम्हें सो समटाइम्स वायलेंस इज यूज्ड in the service just like when there's a lot of disorder in the country there may be a lot of unrest and the people are all rioting and breaking everything then the government have to send in the military to establish law and order jaise ki agar desh mein kai sare dange fasad ho rahe hote hain to sarkar ko sena ko bhejna padta hai wahan pe sab shanti banane ke liye so sometimes violence is necessary lekin to isliye kai baar and the same way lord krishna arjuna was challenged he had to go to fight it was necessary to establish real dharma so isliye arjun ko lankara gaya tha aur arjun jo dharm ko sthapna karna chahte the to ye acha hai ye aisa hinsa and the fighting was done according to religious principles 
और वो जो युद्ध है वो धर्म के नियमों के हिसाब से हुआ था क्षत्रिय वुड फाइट क्षत्रिय अगर If one man is fighting with sword, the other man will come with sword to fight. Then this way they will fight according to the codes of religion. And they say, if you die in this battle, if you die in battle on the battlefield, you go to heaven. और ऐसा बताया कि अगर जो ऐसे युद्ध में मृत्यु होगा वो स्वर्ग जाएगा इट्स कंसिडर्ड पायस टू फाइट एंड डाई ऑन द बैटल फील्ड इसको शुभ माना गया है युद्ध क्षेत्र में लड़ना और मृत्यु वीर गति को प्राप्त करना जस्ट लाइक अ ब्राह्मण इट डस अ यज्ञ जैसे कि ब्राह्मण यज्ञ करते हैं समटाइम्स दे विल सैक्रिफाइस द एनिमल कई बार वो पशु की बलि देते हैं द एनिमल इज एलिवेटेड टू इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ The same way, when the Shatriya fights, he is elevated. He may, he may die on the battlefield. He'll get, go to heaven. So, in this way, when Shatriya is in the sector, he dies. He gets high status. Because it's a pious activity. It's their duty. They're performing their duty according to the codes of religion. कर्म है वो शास्त्र के नियमों के हिसाब से अपना ड्यूटी पूरा कर रहे हैं हम्म माता जी तो माता जी दास्ती हाउ डू वी इंक्रीज आवर लव फॉर कृष्णा लाइक ब्रज दे हैव सो मच लव फॉर कृष्णा हाउ वी कैन इंक्रीज Well, chant the holy name, read the books about Krishna, and worship Krishna. आप भगवान के दिव्य नाम का जप कीजिए, भगवान के बारे में पुस्तकें पढ़िए, श्रवण कीजिए. We're not on the level of the Brijbasi people. We have to try to advance to come to the higher level. हम ब्रजवासियों के स्तर पे नहीं हमें अपने स्तर से थोड़ा और आगे बढ़ने का कोशिश करना चाहिए Lord Chaitanya told Jagadananda Pandit that when you go to Vrindavan, don't associate too closely with the Brijbasi people because you're not on their level. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ne Jagadanand Pandit ko bola ki jab aap Vrindavan mein jaoge to Brijwasiyon se jyada samipta se sambandh mat karna kyunki aap unke star par nahi ho. You want to become like the Brijbasis? Next life, take birth in the Brijbasi family. अगर आपको ब्रजवासी की तरह बनना है तो अगले जन्म में आप ब्रजवासी बन सकते हो परिवार में जन्म लेके और यू कैन गो एंड लिव इन वृंदावन एंड बिकम लाइक अ ब्रजवासी लिव देयर इन द धाम एंड चैंट द होली नेम कांस्टेंटली एंड मेडिटेट ऑन कृष्णस पास टाइम्स या फिर आप वृंदावन में जा सकते हो और वहां पे निरंतर भगवान के नामों का जाप कर सकते हो आर यू एबल टू डू दैट क्या आप वो कर सकते हो Are you able to just sit and chant the holy name all day and think of Krishna Lila? Kya aap pura din bhar baith ke bhagwan ke naamon ka jap aur Krishna Lila ka chintan kar sakte ho? That is raga nuga bhakti. Use raga nuga bhakti ka jap. You have to be on the level of spontaneous devotion. Aap ko jo hai swabhavik bhakti ke sar pe hona hoga. And if you're not on that level yet, Then you have to read the books and chant the holy name and worship Krishna, and gradually you will come to that level. But if you are not on that level, then you have to read the books, chant the holy name, and worship Krishna, and gradually you will come to that level. But if you are not on that level, then you have to read the books, chant the holy name, and worship Krishna, and gradually you will come to that level. But if you are not on that level, then you have to read the books, chant the holy name, and worship Krishna. Very important for me. I am not getting solution from last few months. So, Maharaj, my question is: 
I try to chant, but I am not able to chant as when I try. My mind says you can do it later. You have time, you can do it ten minutes later. But when I see my mind says you can do it later, and at the end day is gone. Now the situation is my mind don't care about the chanting that much. What to do? How to woke up my interest again in chanting? And the situation is going from my from last two months. Please guide me, Maharaj. तो प्रभु जी का प्रश्न है कि मेरा मन जो है चैंटिंग में बिल्कुल नहीं लगता जब मैं जब करने लगता हूँ तो सोचता हूँ दस मिनट बात कर लूंगा और ये दो महीने से मैं इस समस्या से जूझ रहा हूँ तो कैसे वापिस मेरे को हरि नाम में आनंद आए वाह यू डोंट टेल अस व्हाट यू आर डूइंग Instead of chanting, what is it you're doing? What is it that's occupying so much that you're not able to chant? So Maharaj, क्या रे कि आपके अंदर ऐसा क्या चल रहा है कि जिसने आपको इतना कुछ इतना आपको बिजी कर रखा है कि आप जब नहीं कर पा रहे? I can't understand what to do. मेरा मतलब दिमाग ही बंद हो रहा है. I don't understand what I should do. My mind is reading here and there. Yeah, but where is your mind? What are you doing? कर क्या रहा है आपका मन कहां पे जा रहा है यू से योर माइंड इज रीलिंग वेयर वेयर व्हाट्स इट रीलिंग ऑन मस्ट बी समथिंग देयर इन योर माइंड आपके मन में कुछ तो चल रहा होगा कहां जा रहा है आपका मन नो नॉट गोइंग टू टेल अस सो कॉन्फिडेंशियल Yes, Maharaji. Well, Radharani is worship with Krishna for the mood of Vrindavan. Look, if you want to see Rukmini, you go to Dwarka, and you will see in Dwarka temple there it's Krishna with Rukmini and also Sachabama, the two principal wives. They're both there in the temple of Dwarka Dish there in Dwarka. So, Maharaj, tell me that Radharani ka jo aradna aap dekhte ho ki Vrindavan mein. क्षेत्र में ज्यादा आपको दिखाई देगा अगर आपको रुक्मिणी जी का सेवा देखना है तो आप द्वारका जाइए वहां पे रुक्मिणी और सत्य भामा द्वारका जी के मंदिर में दोनों का आराधना होता है भगवान के साथ रुक्मिणी डजेंट कम टू वृंदावन वेर वर्शिपिंग कृष्ण इन द मूड ऑफ वृंदावन द वृंदा द वर्शिप ऑफ वृंदावन एंड वृंदावन इज वेयर द द ग्रेटेस्ट डिवोशन इज It's the supreme abode, and the gopis are the greatest devotees, and the greatest gopi of all the gopis is Shrimati Radharani. So Rukmini is the expansion coming from Radharani, and she's there in Dwarka. Now Dwarka mood is different from Vrindavan. So, Maharaj, tell me that Rukmini ji, who is not in Vrindavan, is not here. Rukmini ji, who is Radharani's expansion. जो कि द्वारका में ही रहते हैं तो वृंदावन वो स्थान है जहां पे भगवान की सबसे ज्यादा भक्ति होती है भगवान के सबसे बड़े भक्त वहां पे रहते हैं और वो हैं गोपिया और उन गोपियों में सबसे श्रेष्ठ हैं श्रीमती राधा रानी और रुक्मिणी जी उनका विस्तार है जो 
You can go to Los Angeles. We have Rukmini Dwarkadish in our Los Angeles temple. Los Angeles is the replica of Dwarka, right? Well, opulence, more opulence, you know. But not sweetness. Vrindavan is famous for the sweetness, for the Madhurya. The sweetness is in Vrindavan, and you get that sweetness in Radha Krishna Lila, not in Rukmini and Dwarkadish. So Vrindavan जो है वो माधुरे का स्थान है वो जो माधुरे है वो वृंदावन में आप देख सकते हो रुक्मिणी जी के साथ द्वारका में नहीं the different mood okay yes manager thank you class for your glorious lecture maras my question is that aapne not disqualified to be take darshan of lord but if i offer my prayers to lord and obeisances to lord and my seva to my guru and vaishnava so how i will come to know that uh, krishna is satisfied with me uh, matlab he is happy with, with my seva so i have not dispensed for him so mata ji ka prashna hai ki main bhagwan ke darshan bhagwan ki seva karne ke liye yogya nahi hu lekin jab main seva karti hu bhagwan ki prasanta ke liye guru ki prasanta ke liye to kaise pata chalega ki bhagwan mere se prasanna hai you have to be satisfied yourself in offering the prayers to krishna आप जो भगवान से प्रार्थनाएं करते हैं उसमें आपको स्वयं से संतुष्ट रहना चाहिए जस्ट लाइक कृष्ण थोड़ द गोपीज ही सेड देयर इज नो वे आई कैन रिपे यू फॉर ऑल योर सर्विस टू मी ऑल द वे इन व्हिच यू हैव वर्शिप मी एंड हाउ यू हैव गिवन डन सो मच फॉर मी कृष्ण सेड आई कैन नेवर रिपे यू ही सेड यू हैव टू बी सैटिस्फाइड योरसेल्फ इन योर ओन सर्विस जैसे कि भगवान गोपियों को कहते हैं कि आपने मेरे को जितना प्रेम किया आपने मेरा जितना सेवा किया है मैं उसको कभी भी चुका नहीं सकता हूँ मैं उसके बदले में कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता हूँ इसलिए आपको ने जो किया है उसके लिए उसके बदले में आपको खुद ही संतुष्ट होना पड़ेगा सो यू हैव टू बी सेटिस्फाइड द सेम वे विद योर प्रेयर्स ऑफरिंग योर प्रेयर्स टू कृष्ण यू हैव टू बी सेटिस्फाइड योर सेल्फ कृष्ण इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम एंड सी थैंक यू वेरी मच you just have to be satisfied yourself that you have sincerely endeavored to offer prayers to please lord krishna so is tarah se aapko apni prarthnaon se khud hi santusht rehna hoga krishna aake aapko kahenge nahi ki thank you mata ji to aapko khud hi santusht hona hoga and always think how you can do more and offer more pleasing words to krishna aur aap hamesha ye sochiye ki aur zyada kaise kar sakte hain aur bhagwan ko aur kaise sundar We should never think I've done enough to serve Krishna. I always want to do more. So, so, कभी ऐसा नहीं सोचना चाहिए कि मैंने बदेरा कर लिया हमेशा और ज़्यादा करने का प्रयास करना। Okay, yeah. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank. Oh. Okay. Uh, Hare Krishna. Uh, हरे कृष्णा महाराज धनुर्गुना महाराज मेरा प्रश्न है कि हम भागवतम पढ़ते हैं तथा तो सुनते हैं तब तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है उसके बाद कुछ भी असर नहीं होता प्लीज महाराज जी कृपा कीजिए महाराज जी से मेरा दूसरा प्रश्न है कि चैंटिंग करते समय नींद आती है कैसे कम होगी तो महाराज टू क्वेश्चन दैट वी वेन वी हियर श्रीमद भागवतम इट लुक्स वेरी नाइस बट नथिंग हैपन्स आफ्टर दैट and in chanting i feel very sleepy so please bless <laughs> chanting if you very sleepy chant louder maharaj ke re neend aati hai to zor se jab kijiye stand up khade ho jaiye and walk around go for a walk khade ho jaiye bahar thoda bhraman karke aaiye chant with devotees bhakton ke sang mein jab kijiye who wake you up jo ki aapko utha de Yeah. Yeah. Pradi, can I add something? Yeah. So when I was a small child, uh, I was reading a comic. It's called Lord Pop. So in that, the character has a chutia. So he ties with the fan. So the moment while he's studying, he's sleeping. The chutia gets stuck. 
ਇਹ ਜੋੜਨ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਸਦਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਪੜੀ ਰਹੀ ਓਕੇ ਇਹ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਐਂ ਮਾਰਜ ਵਨ ਮੋਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਕਿ ਵਾਟ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਮੂਡ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰੇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਲਾਰਡ ਥੈਟ ਆਵਰ ਵੀ ਬੀ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸ ਇਨ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਕੌਂਸ਼ੀਅਸਨੈਸ well the mood of prayer is that i am a servant of krishna and you are the master and i simply want to engage in your service to prarthana ka kya mood hona chahiye prarthana ka mood hona chahiye ki param bhagwan aap mere swami hain main aapka das hu aur main hamesha aapki seva mein lagna chahta hu chaitanya mahaprabhu is giving us a mood right we don't want fruit of gain we don't want liberation we simply want devotional service to shri chaitanya mahaprabhu hame ye mood dete hain ki hame किसी प्रकार के लाभ की कामना नहीं होनी चाहिए और हम सेवा में लगना चाहते हैं व्हाट शुड बी द मूड एंड व्हाट एल्स एंड हाउ शुड वी प्रे फॉर आवर प्रोग्रेस इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस सिंपली चैंट हरे कृष्णा केवल हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र का जप करने से चैंट चैंट द महामंत्र एंड यू कैन मेक प्रोग्रेस महामंत्र जप करने से भक्ति में बहुत प्रोग्रेस कीर्तनिया सदा हरि ऑलवेज चैंट द होली नेम सो हमेशा भगवान के दिव्य नामों का जप कीजिए एंड सर्व द डिवोटीज और भक्तों की सेवा कीजिए जॉइन द कीर्तन कीर्तन में सम्मिलित होइए चैंट एंड डांस इन एक्सटेसी ऑफ लव ऑफ गॉड खूब भगवान के प्रेम में जोर पूर्वक नाचिए गाइए you may say i don't have love of god ab aap kahoge ki mere andar prem nahi hai bhagwan ke liye then dance anyway and you develop love of god so aap kisi bhi tarah se naachiye aur bhagwan ka prem hasil kijiye just by dancing you can become you can have krishna prem just naachne se bhi aapko krishna prem mil sakta Okay Hari Bo Kitan huh? Would you like to take only one question Priya Priya Mata ji quickly Hari Krishna Maharaj thank you so much for Don't this hour long I am unmuted can you hear me Mata ji can't hear you Hari Krishna huh? Hari Krishna no. I have written my question prabhu ji if if i am not audible Hari Krishna try mataji no. Okay for Mataji you can ask later so we we'll stop here to maharaj ka pure hriday se dhanyawad dena chahte hain maharaj kitna kripa hum sabko de rahe hain iska hum anuman bhi nahi laga sakte maharaj ji so much is full just nectar is you know flowing it, it seems it should go on और हम लोग पूरा सौभाग्यशाली है इसके इतना सौभाग्यशाली उसका कल्पना नहीं कर सकते तो महाराज का धन्यवाद देंगे महाराज जी सो मच फुल गिविंग सो मच टाइम लाउडली चैंटिंग हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे हरे हरे